Yep, yeah. Jed McGuire, J E D M C G U I R E. I'm a detective with Eugene Police Violent Crimes. Okay, uh, Saturday evening, uh, Eugene Police Violent Crimes Unit received information from the Oregon State Police uh, out of Klamath Falls and the Klamath County Sheriff's Office regarding human remains which were located in a remote wooded area in Klamath County based upon information located at the scene and information previously uh, learned through this investigation, uh, it was believed that the remains were possibly that of Cheryl Hartz. Early Sunday morning, members of the Eugene Police Violent Crimes Unit and Eugene Police Forensic Unit responded to a very remote area east of Chiloquin, Oregon in Klamath County. With the assistance of the Oregon State Police out of Klamath Falls, uh, we recovered the remains of a female, which we believe to be that of Cheryl Hart. Uh, Lane County Medical Examiner has retained jurisdiction of the remains, um, and they will make the final determination as to the identity of the remains. Um, we, um, th through this investigation, uh, it's been very clear that um, Cheryl was a very kind and loving person and lots of people cared about her. Uh, there was a very large contingent of volunteers who gave up their time to help locate Cheryl. Um, we want to uh, thank them greatly for their assistance in this investigation and uh, providing us with information throughout. Um, we want to extend our greatest sympathies to the Hart family, including her children, ages 10, 16, and 18 years old. Um, many aspects of this case are still under investigation. Um, it has been referred to the Lane County District Attorney's Office for a uh, prosecution. Um, uh, there's, if there's, we still have um, information we'd like to get from the public. If anyone has seen Jeremy Maluton on the 4th or the 5th of August, Please contact Detective Jed McGuire or Chris Brem with Eugene Police Violent Crimes Unit. Okay. Uh, who found her? You said Oregon State Police? Uh, well, they were the first uh, responding law enforcement agency, but uh, it was a search party that the family had put together. Um, we had a general idea of where we thought Cheryl might be located, and they conducted an extensive search of the area. and. Uh, with their efforts, we were able to locate what we believe is Cheryl's remains. And when we first spoke about this case, there was um, a few general areas that yes. we were looking into. Is, was she found in one of those areas? Um, why don't you remind me about which areas I... Oh, just that we, you know, Klamath County. Yeah, it, it was in Klamath County, and it was uh, an area that was very remote. Um, we, uh, that was very difficult to get to. That's where she was found. Do you know how the private um, found her? Um, through their searching. Um, they, they went to that area where we suspected she might be, and they had a whole lot of people who went out and went through the woods and found the remains. Can you talk a little about the condition of the body? Yeah, the, um, the, the remains were, uh, were very uh, decomposed. why she might be in Klamath? Yeah, why we searched that area in particular. Uh, that was information we had received throughout the investigation, including Jeremy Maluton's um, whereabouts where he was in Klamath Falls at some point. And um, it may be, uh, and that, that was what pointed us in that direction. So you said she's with the medical examiner now. Any initial idea of cause of death? Or um, I, that's going to be up to the medical examiner. There is an autopsy scheduled for today, and they will uh, make the determination as to um, a positive identity and the cause of death. Is Jeremy still a person of interest in this case? Um, at this point, I think he's beyond a person of interest and is a suspect, and we expect him to be charged. Yes. With 
uh, Cheryl's death. So that can be charged with Cheryl's death? Yes. Based on what? Uh, evidence we've collected in the case. I, I can't get into much more details than that, but okay. there's sufficient evidence. Have you made communication with him at all? Or? Mr. Malutin? Um, can't talk about that. But he's still in Lane County Jail for his other charges, correct? Yes. Uh, he has a court date today at 2.30, unrelated to this case. Are you able to talk any more about um, the state of Cheryl's body or issues? Uh, it, it, like I said earlier, um, it, was, it was a difficult scene for everybody involved. Um, but um, it, she's been missing since the 4th or the 5th of August, and I'll leave it at that, so you can read between that. I guess it's going to be a weird question, but is this, um, so many been missing so long, and they've had the case going on at close quarters, so they see the body, yeah. it, how would they go well, but? Well, uh, I, you know, it, it's sad is the, the end result. Um, we were always hoping that Cheryl might be alive, but uh, that was not the case. Um, the investigation proceeded as 